Shepherd of Light is a resource-based puzzle game in which the player collects sheep and places them to progress through the levels and to avoid wolves. The idea for the world was that you have these beings that require light to survive. These light sheep that you collect and shepherd in the world are like the main source of that light. So they're extremely important to like the culture and the people. It's based off the Good Shepherd story. There's a father character who sort of represents God. He's like the main shepherd and you're his son. He has to leave and you have to manage the sheep now. And then that's when all the wolves come, all the evil and darkness comes and scatters them away from you. And so your job now is to herd the sheep back together and bring them back to safety. The idea for the game was that we wanted a stylized aesthetic that tailored to the strengths of our artist. So we went for more basic characters with like very stark colors and very like basic designs. And then went for a more detailed environment. Each level aesthetically reflects the powers of the sheep. So uh, for example, at the beginning of the game, you get a storm sheep, which has kind of like electrical powers. So the first level, you're progressing through these ancient ruin type things that are powered by the storm sheep. So everything has kind of a blue and green cast. A large portion of my role has been sort of acting as the mediator between like some of the 3D artists and some like the design and programming artists. So it's mostly been like importing assets that Audie's given me and helping her out with building out materials that she can use to texture some of the objects. And I was also like helping out with James in the um, level design department. Each level is sort of designed around the newest sheep that the player is given and we kind of built each of the levels around introducing the new mechanic of that sheep. Then our like favorite custom mechanic is our wolf zones, which are these areas that it actually plays off our theme of light and darkness because the sheep are like your light sheep and then the wolves are like the darkness. And so what you need is you need enough light to traverse through the wolf areas. At the very beginning of the game, you'll be given a sheep and then there's like a wolf you have to get past and he's afraid of the sheep light. What we wanted to do is like the immersive light versus dark, and so that's where Wolf Zones actually came from. The feel we're trying to get is like, imagine that you're holding a torch and there's a bunch of wolves that are sort of growling and coming at you, and you sort of like wave that torch to get rid of them. It's sort of the same feel, but it makes it about the resources and it makes it more about the sheep, and it really plays the light and dark effects. A lot of game companies uh, seek the value in having like a release game under someone's portfolio, because it shows that they've already had the experience with the team so we definitely are making the game for it to be a portfolio piece for everybody, for sure. It's gonna be free. We're gonna get it on as many platforms as we can possibly get it on so that people can link it to their art stations. This game will provide us with a really, really valuable portfolio piece so that we can show employers like, hey, we may not have worked in the industry, but we've made a game which shows them that we have the capability to adapt into a team and to fit into a workflow and be an asset to that workflow. We have a really awesome team and we've gotten a lot of outside help from other students, even if they're not in the game design program and everyone has been extremely supportive of our team and like what we're trying to do. Seeing the community kind of like support us and do what they can for us has been really cool and very like motivating and inspiring. Probably about junior high age, I was really into uh, the art from the skateboarding culture, graffiti art. That was a style that I liked a lot. And I used to kind of draw that kind of stuff in my notebooks and have little doodles of that kind of stuff and a lot of characters and stuff like that. I just had this one instructor and this one class that kind of changed everything. And he showed us just all these